fool say, well, nobody going to want you. Nope, you's a lie. The devil is a lie. God is proof in my life. Honey, y'all don't like the way I talk up in here. Y'all understand something about Latrice Ryan. I keep it all the way real. I got three baby daddies, but my king feed all of them and they look like him. Y'all don't like them. Maybe that's too young for some of y'all. Y'all don't like the way I talk up in here. go to the, 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 he didn't have to, honey, we had some food at the house. I said, baby, now I ain't gonna barbecue, I'm gonna let you barbecue. But I can't hear nobody. But he had him some homemade spaghetti where I make my own sauce. Ain't no ragu or no prey gonna be in poured out. Y'all don't like the way I talk. See, you say you wanna be a wife, but you can't cook nothing. Y'all don't like the way I talk up in here. Girl, you ain't ready to be no wife. Huh? You don't even know that man got to eat more than men, which hamburger, hepla, rotel, dip, tuna fish. You saying, well, he don't want me because I cook. That's gonna get old too. Cause Talking about you want to be a wife and when you, you, only, you didn't even clean up your house before you left home. Talking about you want to be a wife and if I go to your hotel room right now, you got shoes all in the floor. Y'all don't like the way I talk up in here. You got clothes everywhere. Y'all don't the bathroom. Can't nobody even go in the bathroom. You got to know how to clean your house if you want to be a wife. these people that present an image on Facebook when their whole life in reality is jacked up. Them jokers don't even like each other. They argue every night. They sleeping in separate beds. Y'all don't like the way I talk. And you sitting up here trying to measure up to a fictitious lifestyle that somebody presenting on Facebook. Girl, you ought to be glad that you got a peace of mind right now. You might be single, but baby, I got peace of mind. Because when you really got an anointing and you're a real woman of God, real women of God don't lose their virginity. Real women of God don't lose their salvation over a two-piece chicken dinner and some hot wings. I can't hear nobody up in here. Real women of God, you ain't going to give it up like you a little Caesar's pizza. Hot and ready for $5. The devil is alive. women of God, we refuse to lose our mind over another woman's husband. I wish I would be depressed over another woman's husband. I wish I would lose my mind over another woman's husband. The devil is a lie. I refuse to be somebody's jump off side chick, bad buddy. The devil is a lie. The only time that joker call you is when you get your check or your income tax. But now that your income tax go, he go to. I'll pay for y'all, man, to get your name in this book. Let me hush. Isaiah. Isaiah. The 43rd chapter. I want to read Isaiah 43, 18, 19. From the ghetto version of the Bible, which is the best. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. 
be present. I'm about to do something brand new. Somebody shout new, 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 new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. Forget about what's happening. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. Look at your neighbor. Look at them real quick. Your neighbor don't shout. He can't just kind of step on the toe a little bit. But if they do shout, both of y'all be dead free for the rest of the year. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. There it is, 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 there it is. What you've been praying for, there it is, there it is, there it is. What you've been going through for, there it is, there it is, there it is. What you've been believing God for, there it is, there it is, there it is. What you've been fasting and praying for, all time your neighbor shout, there it is. been in a battle where your response is, God, this don't make no sense. Anybody ever been in a warfare and you didn't even know that spiritual warfare could be this extreme on this level? You still trying to figure out, God, now I'm being a good girl. I'm a good dude. I pay my tithes. I treat folk like I ain't cussing people out like I used to. I, I cussed a whole lot of folk out last year, but I ain't cussing them out like I did this year. And so, God, I'm still trying to figure out how in the world does trouble have a way of finding my address. And it would, be, it would be one thing if you were fighting one battle at one time, but is there anybody in here other than me ever had to fight multiple battles all at the same time? You got multiple battles popping off all at once. Your body under attack, your mind under attack, your faith under attack, the people you love are under attack. If you're a parent in here tonight, if the devil can't get to you, he'll go straight to your children. And you trying to figure out, Lord, why in the world I sent my son, I sent my daughter to private school, why they want to be a wannabe thug? Ain't nothing thuggish about them. They went to church. I raised them up, brought them to Sunday school, took the YPWW. Why in the world do they want to be a wannabe gangster? Tell your neighbor it don't make sense. God will allow you to go through some things that don't make sense. And some of us in here tonight, you are not just fighting a spiritual battle, spiritual warfare, but you're going through psychological warfare where you go, your peace has been disrupted. Your mind has been under attack. You ain't never been depressed but now you're crying and don't even know why now you're irritated frustrated isolated all at the same time you're trying to figure out God what in the world is going on well God told me to tell you on tonight that when you find yourself in a place that don't make sense when you find yourself in a warfare that you cannot explain when you find yourself in a place where the, the enemy is fighting every area of your life that's not the time for you to stop coming to church that's not the time for you to get mad and depressed 
rest and get isolated in a dark hole but that's the time to look unto the hills from which cometh your help for you know that your help is on the way God told me to tell you that when you find yourself in a war zone a demolition zone when everything is being torn down around you that it's nothing but a setup every demolition zone it's nothing but a setup for a demonstration of God's glory will you look at your neighbor for about the third time look at them real good and tell your neighbor it's a setup uh -huh. there will be glory after this your body was under attack but there will be glory after this your family was under attack but there will be glory after this your mind was under attack but there will be glory after this uh, it was nothing but a setup God said I need somebody to show how big and bad I am I need somebody to be the next candidate for a miracle and I need to tell about 27 of y'all in here tonight that you're at the right place at the right time for a miracle and I know some of y'all need a miracle because it's the 4th of July and baby you don't come to church on the 4th of July because you ain't got nothing else to do you don't come to church on the 4th of July just because you just want to be seen nope I don't want to be seen I don't care if nobody see me but I came here tonight because I need God to get under some loads I need God to fix some things that I can't fix I need God to turn some stuff around I need God to bring me out of this confusion I need God to turn this thing around tell your neighbor God get ready to turn it around right there. Huh? If you was looking at Isaiah 40 and 2, the Bible says tell my people that her warfare is ended. Huh? Uh -huh. In other words, God said tell the people of God tonight, Teresa, that it's over. You remember that warfare we were just talking about a minute ago? God said it's over. Huh? Will you tell everybody around you that it's over? Huh? You remember that thing that kept you up last night? Huh? God said it's over. You remember that thing that gave you a headache on last week? Huh? God said it's over. You remember that thing that caused you chest pain had you frustrated had you irritated God said it's over I wish you touch everybody around you and just tell them it's over it's over it's over yep that warfare is over that anxiety is over that thing you've been struggling with is over that thing that tried to take you out is over that thing that tried to make you go crazy it's over I need to talk to some folk that almost had a nervous breakdown from January to June God said you'd have made it to the second half of the year and God said tell everybody it's over that the next six months uh, will be better than the first six months. Uh, I wish you find somebody that's going to help you shout uh, and tell them it's over. Not only is it over, but then the Bible says, uh, he says, tell her that the warfare is accomplished. He says, tell her that her warfare is accomplished. He said, tell her that her iniquity is pardoned. Now, a pardon is an official document issued by a government official that removes offense off of the person so not only is it over but God said it's off of you too oh dear y'all don't know when to shout up in here because a lot of time especially women of God we can be still in a thing we can be out of a thing but that thing still be in us I can't hear nobody we can still we can be out of a thing but we still be affected by that thing but when you know that not only is it over and it's off of you when it's off of you you don't go to their Facebook account and see what they doing when it's off of you you don't look and slide up in their DM. When it's off of you, you don't create an, Insta, an alias Instagram just to keep up with what they doing. Because baby, that thing is not only is it over, but it's off of me too. That warfare is off of me. That generation of curse is off of me. And I wish I had about 12 mothers up in here that can stand up and shout because it's off of your children too. What you went through, won't your children won't go through. What you suffered with, your babies won't suffer with. I wish to tell somebody not only is it over, but baby, it's off of me too. And if you ain't got no children, look up and down your row and tell your row, it's off of you too. Whatever I went through, it's off of you. It won't transfer over to you. Somebody shout, it's off of me. Not only is it over, not only is it off of you, but the Bible says, for she hath received double of the Lord's hand. Not only is it over, not only is it off of you, but God says, 
says it's on now. Ah, oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, get ready to see how it feels uh, to be paid because you survived the struggle. Uh, get ready to see how it feels uh, to be paid because you didn't lose your mind. Uh, get ready to see how it feels uh, to get paid for God to bless you because you made him look good uh, while you was going through the fight of your life. Uh, for some of us in here, uh, people didn't even know we was going through what we was going through because uh, we never stopped giving God glory. Uh, people didn't know we was going through what we was going through because uh, we never, when we came to church, uh, we may have wiped our eyes on the parking lot, uh, but when we came in the house of God, uh, we came in with a praise. Uh, folk didn't even know you was going through what you was going through. Uh, and God said, because you blessed him uh, while you was going through the storm, uh, you made him look good uh, while you was going through the storm. Uh, God said, get ready because your struggle uh, just paid for your next miracle. Uh, I can't hear nobody up in here. Uh, your struggle just paid for your next car. Your struggle just bought your next house. Uh, your struggle just paid for your next miracle because you survived the storm. Uh, you survived the rain. Uh, you made the devil want to act and be confused uh, and scratch his head trying to figure out. Now I know what she going through. I know what he going through. Uh, but every time he come to church, uh, he coming up in here shouting. Uh, he coming up in here praising. Uh, Cause for some of us, the devil attack your money. Uh, he attack your family. Uh, he attack your friendship. Uh, but the one thing he couldn't touch, uh, this joy that I have, uh, the world didn't give it to me. Uh, and the world can't take it away. Uh, is there anybody in here? Uh, the only thing you had left uh, was your hallelujah. The only thing you had left uh, was your thank you, Jesus. Uh, the only thing you had left uh, was your glory to God. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and give God a praise. You got to change your focus. The Bible says in 1 John 2 and 11, 2 and 1, if any man sins, if any man make a mistake, if any man have a rough past, we have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ is my defense. We can't focus on what we don't have. We can't focus on what we are not. Because my Bible says, greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. My Bible says, no weapon that's formed against me will be able to prosper so I got to change my focus and when you change your focus you begin to focus on what you really need to be focusing on you ain't got time to entertain Facebook battles when you focus on what God is doing for you you ain't got time to entertain social media battles I don't care what they saying about me because I'm focused on what God has in front of me I don't care how they talking about me and running down my name they know not to come to me in my face with it they can talk all they want behind my back but if you come in my face it's gonna be a pro I can't hear nobody up in here see I came to talk to some real folk I know y'all been saved y'all whole life but I ain't maybe I still know how to fight I still know how to I can't hear nobody up in here I still know how to mop the flow with you but I'm too focused on what God has in front of me to forfeit my blessing I'm too focused on what God is about to release in my life to forfeit my blessing so I'll walk away and make you think you won I'll walk away and make you think you got the upper hand but I'm saying all to all along to myself, I'm so glad I know I'm saved. Because baby, if you had caught me about five years ago, I would have checked. So you got to change your focus. And not only that, the Bible says, neither consider the things of old. If you're going to walk in the things of God and you're going to pick it up, you know it's going to be released. Release all the stuff you got to do. Honey, you got to change your connections. Oh, good God. 
Molly, Miss Molly. Gone are the days of you being connected to people who really don't want you, but they want what you can do for them. Gone are the days of you being connected to people who really don't want to see you blessed. They just want, they're just after your influence. Gone are the days, my God, of you being connected to folk that don't know how to pray. See, I can't be connected to people who ain't got no power because I came from the ghetto. And then when in the ghetto, if you didn't have no lights, I wasn't worried about if you didn't have no lights because if I had lights and you didn't have lights, all you had to do was get one of those orange extension cords and run it over to my apartment. And now I got lights and you got lights too. You got to be connected to some folk that's got some power. You got to be connected to people that know how to pray without you telling them hey, to pray for me. You got to be connected to folk. Y'all don't like the way I talk. Ask your neighbor question. Do you have some power? Uh, some of them can't answer that right now. I ain't talking about if you know how to shout. I ain't talking about if you know how to two-step. I ain't talking about if you know how to play church. But I'm talking about some folk that know how to get a prayer through. I'm talking about some people that know how to pick you up in the late night hours without you telling them what's going on in their business. See, I don't need no folk that's telling me they praying for me. I need some people that's praying for me for real. And another thing, baby, you got to watch who you connected to because they got to be able to handle the real you. See, there are two of me in me. There's Evangelist Ryan and then there's Latrice. Y'all don't like the way I talk up in here. There are two of me in me. Evangelist Ryan will pray for you. Evangelist Ryan will say, clap your hands and give God glory. Evangelist Ryan will fast on your behalf. Evangelist Ryan will turn the other cheek. Oh, but Latrice, baby Latrice will halfway cuss you out. Latrice will knock you in your head. Latrice want to bust your cap upside you. Latrice want to knock you in your face. You don't need people that who are infatuated with your anointing, but you need folk that around you who can handle your humanity. Can you handle who I really am? Can you handle the real me? Can you handle me when I'm not in the pulpit? Can you handle me when I'm low in my mind? Can you handle me and not talk about me? Can you handle me and not put my business on Facebook? Can you see a lot of the world of your problem? It wasn't your friend that ran. It wasn't your enemy that ran down your business. It was somebody that was connected to you who couldn't handle you that ran down your business. But when you really got somebody that got your back, when you really got somebody that understand who you really are, they won't co-sign your foolishness. They'll tell you the truth, even if it hurts your feelings. They'll say, girl, what you crying over that joker for? He ain't got no job. He ain't trying to do nothing. Fix your hair. Put you some lip gloss on. Square your shoulders back and be about your father's business. Ask your neighbor question. Are you my friend? So not only do you change your focus. I'm getting ready to go. Not only do you change your connection, but then the Bible says, so behold, I shall do a new thing. And then the Bible says, now it shall come forth. When you get in the right position, when you get in the right place, when you got the right people around you that'll be able to lift you up and take you higher in God, that's when you will be able to see the miracle that God has for you. The reason why some of you can't get your miracle is because you got some folk around you that don't mean you no good. The reason why some of you can't get your breakthrough is because you got some people around you that's really secretly jealous of you. But I need somebody around me that'll shout harder than I shout when I get a miracle. I need somebody around me who will be Gail while I be Oprah. Oh, Gail ain't never jealous of Oprah because when you see Gail on Rodeo Drive, you see Oprah on Rodeo Drive. When you see Oprah shopping in Beverly Hills, you see Gail shopping in Beverly Hills. I need you to ask your neighbor a question. Can you be my Gail and I'll be your Oprah? Can you be my Oprah? and I'll be your girl and watch God bring us both out watch God bless both of us cause I'm the kind of friend I'll shout when you get your miracle I'm the kind of friend I'll dance harder than you get your breakthrough I won't sit on my praise I won't be secret jealousy when God start moving on your behalf but I know how to go in harder than you cause I know if we connected it ain't no secret what God can do if he did it for my sister, he'll do it for me too. 
I wish you'd grab your neighbor, grab him by the hand, and tell your neighbor, we got work to do, we got ministry to do, we got business to build, we got souls to save, we can't be jealous, we can't be cold hearted, we can't be a sabotager that try to sabotage our neighbor, but I need somebody that'll go with me, I need somebody that'll cover me while I get my miracle, I need somebody that'll intercede on my behalf, I need somebody that'll go to God on my behalf, can you pray for me when I feel like giving up? Can you pray for me when I feel like going in the towel? Can you show me what my miracle is? Can you show me what my breakthrough is? If you know it's my blessing, can you show me where it is? And then the Bible says, once you change your confession, once you change your focus, I need somebody right now to change your confession. Let the devil know I'll never be broke another day in my life. Let the devil know. You should have killed me while you had me Cause now I know who I am Let the devil know It may have happened to my mama May have happened to my daddy But it won't happen to me Cause my Bible says That life and death Is in the power of my tongue My Bible says To decree the things from the beginning My Bible says Cause those things that be not Though they were, you got to change your confession. You got to let the devil know I came here for a miracle. I came here for a breakthrough. I came here for deliverance. I came here for strength. And I'm not leaving here till I get my miracle. Well, I need somebody to jump up on your feet and go touch three people and tell them, get ready, get ready. Your miracle about to drop. Get ready, get ready. Your breakthrough about to fall out. Get ready, get ready. God's about to do it. Get ready, get ready. It's about to happen. It's getting ready to happen. You're closer than what you were. You're closer than what you began. You're closer to your miracle. I wish I had somebody that would take one step right now. Take one step right now. You're one step away from your miracle. You're one step away from your breakthrough. You're one step away from your deliverance. You're one step away from God fixing your life. Grab your neighbor. Grab them by the hand. Shake that neighbor. Shake them up real good. Y'all ain't shaking nobody. Shake that neighbor. Shake them up real good. And tell that neighbor, that's not me shaking you, but that's the Holy Ghost bringing you out. That's the Holy Ghost bringing you through. That's the Holy Ghost turning it around late in the midnight hour. God will, God will, God will. He'll turn it around. He's turning around your family. He's turning around your money. He's turning around your future. He's turning around your heart. He's turning around your destiny. He's turning around your purpose. The devil is a liar. Every generation of curse that's assigned to your family. The devil is a liar. Cause God just turned it. My mama was a crackhead. But God just turned it. My daddy was absent. But God just turned it. My granddaddy went to jail. But God just turned it. He just turned my morning into dancing. He turned my sorrow into joy. He turned my weeping into shouting. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy, 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 joy comes in the morning. Tell your neighbor, there it is. Your joy is here. There it is. Your healing is here. There it is. Yeah. Your salvation is here. There it is. Behold. Do a new thing and now it shall bring forth. Now somebody shall now shall now shall 
Just move all the way from them. But tell your neighbor, tell them it's done right now. It's done right now. It's done right now. It's done right now. And you all have to wait 